We're now going to start to talk about minima and maxima of functions of two variables. So let f be a function on some domain d in R2. This notation means d is a subset of R2. It's a collection of points in R2. And let A be a point in the domain. So we say that AB is a global maximum, or just a maximum, of F if F of AB is greater than or equal to F of XY for all x, y in the domain. And we say that a, b is a local maximum of f if um, f of a, b is greater than or equal to f of x, y for all x, y, not in the whole domain, but just in some disk centered at the point a, b. So here's our whole domain. Here's our point a, b. So it's a global maximum if f takes the largest possible value at this point. And it's a local maximum if there's some disk centered at this point so that, at least in this disk, f takes its largest value at a, b. But it may take an even larger value someplace outside of the disk. Okay, and then global minimum, minimum, and local minimum are defined the same way with the inequality going the other way. So you have f of a, b is less than or equal to f of x, y for all x, y in the whole domain if we're talking about a global minimum and just in some disk centered about AB if we're talking about a local minimum. And sometimes to shorten the notation, we use the term uh, local extremum to designate a point which is a local minimum or a local maximum. Um, and another piece of terminology we should use is a critical point. So AB is a critical point of F if the partial derivatives FX of AB and FY of AB are both defined and equal to zero. And then the basic fact, um, so theorem, so if a, b is a local extremum, if a, b is not on the boundary of the domain, And if the partial derivatives at a, b are defined, then they have to be 0. So then fx of a, b equals fy of a, b equals 0. The proof. 
So let's define a function g of one variable x by g of x equals f of x comma b. So what we're doing here is we're fixing y equals b and varying only x. Okay, so then g has a local extremum in A. Right, because um, f of xy is, well, depending on whether we're talking about a minimum or maximum, less than or equal to f of ab for all xy near ab. So it's certainly true when x when y is equal to b and x is near a. Okay, so by the single variable story, which we re reviewed before, we know that g prime of a has to equal zero. Okay, but, but g prime of a is exactly the same thing as fx evaluated at AB. So this is equivalent to our definition of partial derivative. The partial derivative is just the ordinary single variable derivative when you restrict the function to a line in which only one of the coordinates is varying. Okay, so then that proves um, that fx of AB equals zero. And similarly, fy of ab is equal to zero. So here you need to fix x equals a and vary y and, and do the same argument. Okay, so that's the proof. So a logical, logically equivalent way to state this is that if ab is a local extremum, then at least one of the following holds. And let's put them over here. So the first possibility is that AB is a critical point of F. The second possibility is that fx of ab and fy of ab are not both defined. And the third possibility is that ab is on the boundary of the domain. So if you want to find a global maximum or global minimum, if it exists, well, then it certainly has to be local maximum or local minimum, and then you just have to search for all points satisfying um, any of these three conditions. All right, so let's look at a couple of examples. We'll do that in the next lecture segment.